Hi, on this demo, I'll be showing you about ACL or access control list, right? So ACL is a security feature of the ServiceNow platform where it, you can control what people can do, right? Uh, for example, on a certain record, right? And and where that particular record, uh, probably a persona or a user is a member of a group. And that group is controlled by a role in ServiceNow. And that role is assigned to this ACL where you could basically manage, right? The um the, the features of what they can see or do in in the ServiceNow form on this example. Right. So for what you're seeing here is it, a list of records of um ACL. Right, so uh, let's probably, let's do a search on incident. And let's do that incident. Anything that contains an incident. So you have incident, as you can see, a type record. And there are different types. You, you may be managing a UI pages in it, and so on. So I'll leave for you on that one to explore, right? So for example, incident, you could create, delete, and reads. And you could do more, right? So now on the top right, you will see there's a new button is basically showing. It's because I am security admin. So how to get there? Basically, I will just remove first my rights. So removing security admin. Once I update that, right? So it will take out the new button, right? So if you come in, if there's a new button, I couldn't even edits a particular record in the ACL. So it's a security feature. You can see it, but you cannot do anything about it, right? So now uh, we're gonna go back to the um, upper right. I'm going to elevate my role to security admin, update it. And, and now as I drill down to one of the sample records, right? So let's go to read only. So let's open that. And as you open that, Right, so it will show you the configuration on this particular record. So, so before it loads, it's um you have to be careful. Make sure it's not duplicated on what you're creating, right? Because um, uh, if it's duplicated or conflicting to other records, then this is something um, there's it's going to be a bug on your work, right? So from the top, you will have type record and operation, right? And on top of that, um. It starts with a table, right? And on what field, it could be all field, right? It could be none, right? Or it could be very specific, right? And as you go down, what role basically you are controlling. You, you have other conditions, right? That you could um, basically um, add on, but the um, for simplicity, it's the role, it's the um, table or the form or on type record, what it's going to do and what specific field or all fields and so on, right? So basically um, you could, um, for best practice to make your life easier, you could insert and stay, copy it, or go back, right? And, and create a new one as you create a new one, right? So um, it will give you the flexibility and to configure um, accordingly to what you want. So what you have to understand once you implement something, you need to see what you have first before doing something else, right? Um, so let's say um, you would like to control or who, who will be able to read, right? And as you make a read, what table? Is it all tables? Or it will just be the incident table, right? Or it could be something, right, that we, were, we built earlier about custom, right? Right, so the custom table that you created. So from there, you could um, probably say all fields in the custom um, table, right? And having that role, right? Under that custom table. So so you have created one basically. Um, then from there, once you submit this one, then it will be able to add this control, right? So I managed to um, uh, show you how to build ACL and I'll leave you to test it. So um, the best way to learn is to go to the form, log in as this, uh, log in as a user who is inheriting on this role, and and find out basically.
how it works. And thank you for watching my channel. And, and please do so, like and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Um, add the comment and I'm happy to respond. I'll see you soon.